Lynn? Ryan? I'm fine, Dad. Me too, but I can't find out. Alf? Alf! Oh. Are you in here? He's not in the attic. Look at this mess. Alf! Alf! This was his first quake. Poor little fellow. He must be terrified. I found him. Alf, are you okay? He doesn't look it good. It looks like he's in shock. Alf, say something, anything. Armageddon, annihilation, white hot tentacles of doom spit fire, <laughs> venom, screeching, help me, help me, Alf. help me, help me, ruination, devastation, Alf. apocalypse, now, now, now. <laughs> Thanks, Willie. Now I'm blind. Your eyes are closed. Oh. Let, let me help you. Oh, this may stagger your imagination a whit, but I had nothing to do with this mess. <laughs> We know, Alf, we know. You do? We had an earthquake. I see. And it was a good one. What was good about it? Why do we have it? What was it? Well, let me see if I can explain it, Alf. You see, the crust of our planet is made of plates of layered rock that are in continual movement. Now, when the pressure beneath becomes too great, it's released Thank through... you, Mr. Wizard. <laughs> hey, the short strokes, please. Do you remember when Godzilla destroyed Tokyo? <laughs> well, that's a rather extreme example, Kate. Okay? Look, we, we just had an earthquake and we are all fine. We just have to remember to be prepared and follow some basic safety rules. Willie, get the ledger. Kate has more rules. <laughs> hey, Willie, is anybody home? Alf, get in the kitchen. Oh, uh, that is, stay in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, hi, Raquel. Willie, Jake. Kate, we had an earthquake. <sighs> so did we. <laughs> How's Lynn? Ellen's well, fine. Does she need comforting? And she's fine. Because if she does, she's I could... She's fine! I'm glad to hear it. So where's Trevor? On the porch. <laughs> Trevor, come on in. Is this structural? <laughs> Trevor, I, I've never seen you like this. <laughs> oh, 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 Trevor, it's, it's going to be all right. It, it, it's going to be all right, <laughs> Trevor. Uh, this is making me very uncomfortable. I'm sorry. I'm just traumatized. Well, we'll be on our way. We just wanted to make sure that you were okay. Say hi to Lynn and everybody for me. Trevor, you'll be fine. You think so? Of course. With the proper professional assistance. <laughs> Is this thing structural? <laughs> you know, in a way, that jolt we had last night was probably a very good thing. If you enjoyed it that much, why not just strap a lightning rod on your head and wander around in the rain? No, I think what Willie means is that it's reminding us to come out and check our supplies. It says here that we should have a half gallon of water a day for each of us. So for two weeks, that makes 35 gallons. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Uh. Hey. <clears throat> 35 gallons of water. Wait, I have questions. Why do we need so much bottled water? Well, that's in case our water supply becomes contaminated. What about food? We have a two-week supply of food. We have peanut butter, we have granola bars, evaporated milk, canned meat, fish. We had a two-week supply of peanut butter, granola bars, evaporated milk, canned meat, and fish. It was nowhere near a two-week supply. I ate it in 37 minutes. <laughs> Elf, those were our survival rations. And I survived. Now you know they work. <laughs> Restock food stuff. Padlock food stuffs. I uh, saw the truck outside. I guess the extra water we ordered came. Oh, yes, water came. Last load. <laughs>
$476. I'm afraid uh, we didn't order this much water. You got a Gordon Shumway at this address? Just once. I was hoping that just once it might be a legitimate mistake. <laughs> so I don't suppose there's a chance you could take a couple dozen of these back. Let's pick up on delivery. Well, goodbye. Or as we like to say, au reservoir. <laughs> What'll it be? Cup of soup? Cocoa with teeny marshmallows? Or maybe just the straight stuff straight up? <laughs> I know that look. I find it unsettling. <laughs> Alf! Oh, hi, Willie. What are you doing? Hammering. Could you be a little more specific? Hammering nails. <laughs> Why are you nailing your bed to the floor? Well, it wouldn't make much sense to scotch tape it now, would it? <laughs> Alf, nailing your bed down isn't gonna help you during an earthquake. It'll keep me from sliding down the stairs. Then I'm running a bumper around the bed for shock absorption. And underneath, in case of a tidal wave, pontoons. I'm telling you, Willie, this bed is going to be the safest place in the house. Alf, I really don't... I know what you're going to say. And I could put you in one of these babies for $99.95. Yes, that's $99.95. <laughs> It's an aftershock. Come into the doorway. I'll be safer in here. <sighs> Two seconds later, and I would have had the weight of the world where my head used to be. <laughs> no, Alf, that, that, that's only a globe. <laughs> that wouldn't have hurt you. Don't you see, Willie? It's a sign. No matter what you do, no matter how many precautions you take, sooner or later, this planet is gonna get you. Oh, take it easy, Alf. You'll be fine. Yeah, but for how long? Face it, Willie. Earth is hazardous to your health. <laughs>